No, I don't waste no time Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is joshua daniel george a social media marketing online coach i have my own advertising agency called brandpreneur and i also have my own education business where i teach you guys on how to do the same and uh, as you can see a slight change of uh, scenery this time um actually i've already recorded a video here um, a vlog like a day in the life vlog not sure which one of the two will be uploaded first. I'm guessing it'll probably be this one. So, um, you know, a slight change of scenery in terms of what you guys are used to. If you've already been following the channel for longer, I am currently in a little place called Alachata, um, which is a place in Turkey, very close to Izmir. And uh, basically just wanted to get away for a week, uh, get some work done here. Um, as you can see, I've got the laptop set up, um, just been you know, getting a few hours of work done and uh, making sure that all the clients, all the campaigns are up and running, all the clients are getting good results, all the clients are profitable, they're making money, uh, because my whole thought process and mindset behind everything is, is if the client's making money, if the client's happy, then the client will have no reason to leave us basically, and uh, I'll basically make more money as a result of that. But anyway, um, what I wanted to quickly record a video about today is the whole sort of free trial dilemma right like everyone's talking about it should you offer free trials what to do when you haven't got any results to show your clients you know should they offer a free trial just to get the clients in and so on and so forth so I just thought i'd give my two cents on this i have done a video about this in the past um but my opinion has obviously changed over time you know i've got over 300 videos i think on my channel right now um so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do or check it out at the very least you know there's a lot of information there a lot of content and um, like I said, you know, I, I, try and, I try and stay ahead of the curve in terms of content, etc. And the great thing is I've actually still got an agency, you know, um, contrary to popular belief, you know, a lot of people like within the industry, obviously, just promote the coaching business, just teach the business model, but I've actually still got an agency. And I think that's actually worked in my favor because I'm still in the trenches, just like you guys, right? So I know exactly what is going on in the industry. I know exactly what is changing in the industry. And uh, like I said, I'm able to basically report to you guys more and give you guys more details because I'm still doing this myself as well. So anyway, what I've noticed with the whole free trial thing is that people say it's easier to get the client on a free trial because you haven't got the results to back up what you're saying. And yes, that is true, but I always think the client that is willing to accept a free trial is never usually the client that you want to be signing, right? So what I would recommend to do is not necessarily go for a free trial client or not necessarily offer a free trial to a client that you want to end up closing you know, later down the line. So rather than saying, okay, tell you what, my retainer is usually X amount a month, but you know, just to show you what I can do, I want to offer you a free trial. Rather than doing that, actually go after a client with the sole purpose of offering a free trial and nothing more. So saying to the client, okay, listen, I am not new to the industry. You know, I've got a lot of experience um, theoretically, or I've got experience working for another agency or anything along those lines. Now I'm actually working for myself. I want to, you know, basically you know, test the waters myself and go at this alone. Therefore, you know. I've got the knowledge, I've got the experience, I just can't prove it to you at the moment. You know, I can't, I can't show you any portfolio material because I haven't got it. So in exchange for me being allowed to use your results as a case study or use your results for my portfolio, I wanna offer you a one month free trial. No strings attached, there won't be a payment at the end of it, you know, don't be a pitch at the end of it. Like I said, I just want to run ads um, and get good results, basically, you know, build up my network, get some acquaintances within the industry and leverage those results. And yes, you might, you'll, you'll probably not sign that client, but like I said, the client that is willing to accept a free trial is never usually the right type of client, at least in my opinion, because again, you know, this is all just subjective, right? This is just what I think. Um, if you're of a different opinion, if you think, or if you can, if you've managed to 
get clients to pay you after the free trial, then by all means, keep doing it. I'm just saying what I think um, you know is going on in the industry at the moment. So rather than going after the clients that you want, pitching them a free trial and then hoping to, to be able to sign them um, at the end of it, rather than doing that, go after a client just for the free trial and just say, listen, um, I just want to work for you guys for free for a month to leverage those results. And um, you know, if, if you're happy with that, if you're happy with a media buyer working for free, then let's work together. If not, no hard feelings, I'll move on to the next one. And then the results that you get, leverage those results to get client number two. And client number two is your actual client, the client that you want to sign. And then if they say, well, listen, I want to see results, or listen, I want to see portfolio, or listen, I want to see references, you've got all that lined up. With that said, what I have noticed, because we've currently got 25 clients right now, you know, we're, we're, we're building up quite a you know substantial agency here, we no longer really get hit with that objection, or we want to see references, or hey, we want to see results. And I think it's also got a lot to do with confidence. We know we can do a good job. We know if this client says no, there's 10 other clients lined up. And when you're just starting out, it is quite difficult, right? Like you really want to get that deal over the line because that could be the difference between you having to keep your day job or quitting your day job. That might be the difference between you being able to pursue social media marketing full time and not being able to do that. So especially when starting out, you know, Done deals, closing deals, getting clients, you know, it's 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 a very important factor. Um, and when you get more clients in, it's not as important and you start to be a bit more picky about what type of clients you want to work with. Just gonna switch over the arm here, my <laughs> arm's getting tired. Um, so yeah, like I said, when you are you know a bit more further down the line, you start to get a bit more picky about what kind of client you want to work with, and you're not as interested in the yes if that makes sense so when i go on calls right now or where my you know head of operations elliot gets on calls now it's no longer okay how can we just meet all the demands of this client and get this deal done it's more about okay there is a potential client here there's a biz another business owner that wants to speak to us can we you know basically create a win-win situation and the win-win situation is also down to us are we happy working with this client and because we go at it from a different angle it's like we've also got a bit more of an authority position within the call and the clients know that the clients see okay this guy is not just trying to get this deal done under you know at all costs under any circumstances this person is also trying to say okay is this a right fit for me and when you're in that situation it's it's like the client knows okay these guys are serious these guys know what they are doing and that comes down to confidence. And confidence, of course, comes with experience. But when you are just starting out, you haven't really got that confidence. Let's be honest, at least I didn't. Again, this is just from my own experience, right? I did not have the confidence when starting out. And I did get hit with the objection. I did get hit with, okay, well, let's see what you've got. Let's see your portfolio. Let's see the references. And if you haven't got them, that's when it starts to get difficult, right? Um, so in a position like that, then I would say, well, listen, you know, like I said before, I haven't got the experience, um, or I've got the experience, sorry, but I haven't got the, the portfolio material to back it up. Um, what you could even say is, okay, I am not new to the industry, but I am new to you know being a business owner or something like that. Therefore, I you know want to leverage you as a client to get results and just to build up my portfolio in exchange for free work. And then you use that to go on to the next one, and that is when you know you actually start saying or showing the client, okay. This is what I've been able to do so far. This is what we can do for you as well. But again, like I said, because the confidence comes after experience, you'll notice that client number two mightn't even ask for the portfolio material, even though you've got it. It's like when you, again, you know, in, in the Netherlands where I'm from, um, it's 18 plus if you want to purchase alcohol. And before you're 18, you know, you're all nervous. You, you might have tried to get alcohol from the shop. Um, you might try you know, to buy a few beers from the shop and because you're not 18, you're nervous and they can tell that you're not 18. Just by the way you're acting, you're nervous, you're, your hands are all sweaty and you're just hoping that they don't ask for ID. And chances are, you know, obviously, obviously the very big chance that they will ask for ID. Um, and then when you turn 18, you know, you're all confident, you've got your ID ready, you're actually hoping for them to ask for ID because you can show them that you're actually an adult, you're 18 and that you, you can actually legally purchase alcohol and you'll know and what you'll see then that 
you'll be at the counter, you'll be at the till, and they won't ask for ID. And it's all about that confidence. It's all about, about that perception. And it's the same with SMMA. You know, if you've got the results, you don't care. You're waiting for them to ask to see the portfolio because you've got the portfolio, the portfolio is good. And because you're that confident in the call, you're, like, it's, you're almost hoping that they ask for the portfolio material, they won't ask because your confidence has basically convinced them enough that you are the right person for the job, that you can get them results. Okay, so the moral of the story or the moral of this video is that the trial clients, like getting um, a client on or when you're in talks with a client and you notice that the deal is not going your way, to offer a trial to sort of sweeten the deal, in my opinion, is not a good idea. What I would recommend to do, just moving arm again, or switching over arm, I should say, what I recommend to do is to find the trial client to leverage the results, leverage the portfolio, and maybe even get some referrals, because that's another thing that you guys can also do. You guys can say, well, listen, um, you know, I am, again, not new to the industry, I'm just new to being a business owner, I, I don't have any results that I can legally show you. Maybe, you know, you can say something like previous clients wants me to sign an NDA, wait for an agency that, that wants me to sign an NDA. So um, I can do it. I just can't prove that I can do it, you know, with previous results. So uh, why not let me work for you for free in exchange for referrals? And that's just another uh, thing that I wanted to point out in this video. Someone asked me in the Facebook group, the Lifestyle Design Community, quick side note if you guys aren't already in that, make sure you check it out. There's a free beginner course in there as well if you want to get started with social media marketing. But someone asked me, what would you do if you had no results and no money and you needed to get started? And I said, I would probably find someone that is an authority figure within the niche that I want to target and strike up a deal with them. You know, so I basically leverage their network and in exchange for me being able to do that, I will you know, work for them for free. So for example, let's say you are, um, you wanna target people that, um, I don't know, are personal trainers. You wanna, you, you wanna go after the personal trainer niche. Then maybe find a gym where all these personal trainers are active or do the personal training and say to the gym, okay, listen, if you bring me in contact with all these personal trainers, I will do the social media, do the Facebook ads for your gym for free. And you'll notice that if someone is referring you onto business, that is the most, word of mouth is the most powerful way to get more business in. So if you can leverage word of mouth, if you can strike up a deal with someone that is, has a authority position or has a foot on the door within your industry, that's the best position to be in. That's a position that we are currently in as well within our field. And we've got clients referring us onto other business left, right and center. And like um, in, we are now in May, in April, no, actually the start of May, sorry, we signed five clients, just all the referrals, just literally just referrals uh, back to back from this one client that we got good results for. And once you get into that position, like you'll never go broke because you've got people referring you on to other people and that's just the best position to be in. But anyway, moral of the story, don't go after the free trial clients, leverage the free trial just to get more business in, to be more confident on the next call. So. That is all I've got for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.